In today's video, I want to talk to you all about something, all right? I want to talk to you all about something that we all do from time to time. Let's be openly honest. Let's be completely candid with one another. This happens to all of us, right? And it's this. We end up costing our team somehow, some way. And I want to talk about some of the ways that we do end up costing our team, whether if it is for the victory, whether if it's the fight, whatever the case may be, I want to talk about these things and I want to address them so that we can correct them and do them less in the future. Because again, let's be honest, we won't ever be perfect by any means. But if we correct these things, like if we can improve on these things, 70 to 80 percent, OK, I might be reaching 50 to 60 percent. Then I think we will be in a better position to win gunfights, win battles and, of course, win games. This first thing actually hits home because this is probably the one thing that I find myself doing the most out of anything on this list. And it is overextending in fights. OK, give you an example. I crack somebody. Right. And I get cracked myself. You know, let's say we got purple armors. I crack their purple. They crack my purple, but I still ego challenge them and I end up getting knocked by one of their teammates or I get hit with a lucky wingman shot or a master shot from the person I was pursuing. Now what I've done is handicap my squad and I'm forcing them to overcome the odds, putting them in a two V three situation. Now let's be honest. I play with some hyenas. So are they going to win the two V three? They might, they might, you know, my homies that I play with, we get busy, but that aside, right? If we aren't getting busy, if we're having a cold night, what's going to happen is they're going to both die one by one and we're getting sent back to the lobby in that regular pub or in that ranked match. Instead, what I need to do in that situation next time is I need to prioritize my own health. I need to drop back, get a bat off or slow heal with shield sales before re-engaging. If I do that, then I put my team in the best position possible to re-engage and win that 3v3 fight. Something else I'm going to go ahead and put in this overextending category is this. It's over swinging in fights with no cover, okay? All you're doing is putting yourself in the best position possible to be team shotted by the enemy. Instead, you should find some type of cover, anything. It can be a vehicle. It can be a random rock in the middle of the road. It can be having high ground. It could be anything in the world. Find some type of cover and play off it as much as possible to keep yourself safe and so you can stand a fight with your squad, right? Because again, the odds are more equal if it is a 3v3 fight and you aren't getting crapped on and it becomes a 2v3. Also, quick side note for those that do not know what swinging is, it's when you peek out from behind cover and take shots at the opposition. When you overswing, you peek out too much from behind cover and leave yourself vulnerable to be team shot. Moving on here, the second thing that we all do that end up costing our teams, and again, I do this too from time to time. I'm a little better on this, but I do this too. And it's not listening to your teammates, okay? Remember, Apex is a team-based game at its root. If you have teammates, random or people you know and they're mentioning that they're going to rotate a way that you might not want to go for example you may have to bite the bullet and you got to roll with them right unless you can convince them otherwise in some cases you can but sometimes it just doesn't work like that okay sometimes you got to just take the l and you can call it a bad call right let's say you rotate the way that your teammates want to go and y'all die get sent back to the lobby you can call them out on it man I know we should have went right instead of going left, right? And look, you have some validity behind your statement now because y'all went left and y'all got rocked. So next time, guess what? Your teammates are going to listen to you more. At the end of the day, it's in everybody's best interest to stick together as much as possible instead of going separate ways and getting rocked and picked off one by one. You know what I'm saying? To switch gears a little bit on the same topic at hand, really pay mind to what teammates call out. For example, if I got a teammate and they say, yo, 150 on Bloodhound, they're flesh now behind that rock make decisions and make plays based off of that call out right for example you can shift your focus towards that bloodhound to maybe get a knock or maybe that bloodhound makes you work for a little bit so what you do is reposition with your character and get a better angle on that bloodhound and get the knock you know what i'm saying just play off of those call outs a little bit more efficiently and you know when you get a knock on the opposition the tide of the battle shifts dramatically so putting yourself in the best position possible to make plays based off of call outs will give you a greater chance of succeeding and ultimately winning that gunfight in the same breath Pay mind to when your teammates make call outs like, hey, I'm fleshed. I got a heal, got a slow heal, got a slow heal. That means to you, you probably should draw out of that battle, right? You probably should peel back, let your teammates slow heal, get their health back, and then re-engage from there. Or make a decision to disengage because we all know Apex Legends is also known as third party legends. So no, the third party is on the way. And the last thing I'm going to talk about in this video in particular in regards to costing your team is this. It's rushing in on a team, all right? And what I mean by rushing in on a team is, let's say, 
that there's an opposition or there is an opposing team of three that is chilling in a building, right? It can be a building and fragment, whatever. And you just run in with your R9 and your massive thinking you're going to go ahead and clear house. This will end up bad, okay? This will 100% end up bad. Why? Because when you push into a team, you are walking right into their territory. They will almost always be expecting you and be ready for a clean team shot to put you down. And you remember, as we discussed before earlier in the video, those 2v3 situations, they kind of do not always work in your favor unless you are playing with some hyenas. So don't do that. Instead, gather information and approach the fight in a more intelligent manner. Use recon characters to pinpoint possible locations of the opposition. Use nades to clear a doorway or an area. Do anything you can without physically throwing your body in the doorway aimlessly and expecting to one clip everybody. It ain't gonna work. You gonna be the one <laughs> that get one clip. Trust me, it happens to me almost every day I play this game. And now that I'm thinking about it, I think I need to stop doing that. And folks, there you have it. Stop costing your team, okay? We're not perfect, but if you can work towards these things that we talked about today, if you can work towards not doing these things that we talked about today, I think you will have a better chance of succeeding, winning gunfights, winning games, and being happy overall. It's been your boy, Cray. I'm signing out. I'll catch you all in the next video. As I always say, stay humble, be blessed, and remain relentless. I am out. Peace. Peace.